I've had this video on my idea list for a while now, but I mean, I just got rejected myself, so not really any better time to make this video than now, right? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Josiah here with another video, and we're talking about rejection, which can be quite a sensitive topic, but I think it's one that we all need to know how to handle, because a lot of us don't, and a lot of us are scared to even get rejected, which I could really dive into, but let's save that for another time and let's just focus on actually getting rejected. What do you do now? So this video is gonna apply to whether you've been rejected by a girl or a guy or in my case, a job. So if you were really banking on a job that you really wanted and you got rejected, then hey, I resonate with you. But more importantly, what do we do after getting that rejection? Let's figure that out. So for me, there's four ways that you can really respond to rejection and you might go through some of the four stages but there's two that I want to make sure that you don't do. You don't want to go through these two negative responses and then the other two I'm going to talk about later. All right? But one that you see a lot and I think that if you're from London you'll know that it's come somewhat of a meme now and it goes a little bit something like this especially when it's a guy moving to a girl and he gets rejected. This is what it looks like. Hey, yo, darling, hey yo, what are you saying? Yeah, 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 you're looking good, star. Aye, listen. Uh, you wanna give me your snap or something, B? Huh? You're not feeling, man. Hey, bro, you're not feeling, man, star. I swear down. No, just drop me your snap. You got a man. Uh, whatever, man. Your butt is anyway, fam. Yeah, not, not the most gracious response to, to rejection. And what we're seeing here is someone getting in their feelings, feeling hurt, and all of that facade is a defense mechanism, right? And it's something that you don't want to do because you look foolish, you look like an idiot. But it's actions that come out of impulse from the feeling of being hurt. So what my response to this is to make sure that you have composure. Composure is not necessarily the easiest thing to practice, but once you do and you have it down, then trust me, you'll be better off for it. Now, in two different scenarios, it can be a lot easier or harder depending on what the situation is to remain composed and I'm gonna give you examples so in that situation here with the guy and the female that he was trying to pursue <laughs> if you had taken a moment to breathe and realize that it's not worth calling a girl but as anyway fam and being in his hurt feelings then he could have walked away from that situation and gone and tried to get with another girl or something I don't know but let's say that you got a rejection letter via email then it's a lot easier to do all you have to do is, if you feel yourself feeling emotional or whatever, just put down the phone, close the laptop, walk away for a minute, get composed, and then you go back and reply like a gentleman. Now, the reason that we do this is, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. If you are rejected for something, chances are that's it. It's not meant for you. And, you know, just go ahead and look for something else at this point after, after following these other steps. But yeah, that's the end of the road for that one instance. However, there are instances where you might have a callback or let's say the person that they originally chose they've fallen through or they had another job in mind now if you respond negatively to the rejection if you act like an arsehole and say well yeah i didn't want your <laughs> i didn't want to jump at your company anyway then you're literally proving them right they are saying yeah we made a good call there we don't want someone like that out of our company or if it's a relationship i don't want someone like that in my bed any good thought that they had about you, or if they were second guessing their decision, whether they were wrong or right to choose you, you've basically blown that out of the park and said, yeah, you were right to not choose me. So what we do is we protect ourselves from that. And second of all, it's not really a second point, it's just kind of elaborating on that. What you're showing them is that you are indeed still a good person. And what you're doing is leaving them with a good taste in their mouth all the way through the process. That's providing that it was actually hard for them to reject you and you didn't mess up at some point before during the process of you courting them. That's the first negative reaction. The second one is more of a passive one, but it will have a deeper effect on yourself. And that is putting yourself into a self-loathing, depressive state of being just because you didn't get the girl or the job, right? Now this one is as equally as bad because you're not making yourself look like a fool per se, but you are doing damage to yourself mentally and potentially losing out on future opportunities that are out there. There are endless opportunities out there, all right? More than you can count, okay? So there are loads of girls or guys or whatever out there, and there are many, many opportunities for you to earn money 
out there as well. And the more time that you spend in a state where you're like, oh, no one wants me, I'm gonna die alone, I'm gonna die jobless and homeless, oh my gosh, what is this life even worth living for? The more time you spend in that state means the more time that you're letting these opportunities pass you, right? There's less time of you going out and seeking things that the world wants you to be involved in, I don't know. What I'm saying is it's okay to be a little bit disheartened at first, all right? But just get into your head that if you weren't successful with that opportunity that you went for, it wasn't for you. And off the back of that, congratulate yourself for even going for that opportunity in the first place. Well done. A lot of people may have not taken that step, right? But you now know that you have the courage to do so. So take that energy that you had for this place and... Yay! Good job. Get ready for the next round. Now, I know a lot of people hate the saying that there's plenty of fish in the sea. I've heard people say, yeah, I know there's plenty of fish, but I only wanted that one right there. And to that I say, get out of your head, dude. Get out of your head. Stop romanticizing whatever situation that you're in. If it's a girl, if it's a girl that you're thinking about, bro, stop. If it's a job, stop. I know I sound a little bit harsh right now and it is kind of easier said than done, but do whatever you need to do to get it out of your head. Remember that you have a lot of self-worth and you sitting there thinking about the job or the girl or whatever is not gonna help you in any way to progress in life and move forward. And remember this also, that job is not thinking about you and that girl is not thinking about you. She's happy with her new man and I'm sure that these guys are welcoming Mark into the office and saying, hey man, glad to have you on the team. <laughs> this, is, this is Mark, this is Mark here. <laughs> so yeah, you're wasting your time thinking about, oh, what could have been with this or whatever. And that's time that you could spend on looking to the future and whatever opportunities that are out there for you. And if you're not sold already on that idea and like, yeah, but Josiah, man, it feels so bad. Look, I've just spent all my time on this job or all this time talking to this girl and now she's with, with Mark. Dude, remember this. I said there's countless of opportunities out there, right? Not all of them are gonna be for you, but the further you go in terms of realizing what is not for you and kind of filtering out everything that's not meant for you means that you're one step closer, my friend. Yeah, yeah. You're one step closer to being with that girl that you wanna be with and to being with that job that you wanna be at or whatever else that you're seeking in life that, you know, the past one you just got rejected from. You're one step closer. So all you need to do is keep going, all right? Which leads me into the two positive reactions. Like I already said at the beginning of this video, motivation is one of them, so you can kind of see where I'm going with that. But the first point that I want to make is the somewhat reaction that has pros and cons, right? But it's kind of a mindset more so. What this is to do is with basically shrugging something off and not giving a fuck. Now, I say this because the mindset is not good to use in everything, every area of life, but when it comes to getting rejected, then it can be good in some sort of way. So for example, if you are moving to a girl and she rejected you, shrug it off and move on to the next thing. It's good because it doesn't mean that you have to spend too much time thinking about the negative occurrence that just happened, right? And you can move on to the next one, which is good. However, the only thing is, with that, some people may misconstrue it and use it as a means to not care about anything in life, which is not a good path to take. And you're not benefiting from the negative experience, really. You're just kind of letting it bounce off, being Teflon. And so it's not necessarily negative, but you could be taking a positive from that situation and taking that forward, right? So yeah, that's what I would say with that point. The last point is to use it as motivation. Motivation, itself is a finite source right we can't get it from everywhere and when we do find it it doesn't last for a long time so to be able to take negative situations and turn it into motivation is quite a big thing i would say what i would do is be realistic slash optimistic now when i say realistic it means looking at how that process went from you getting rejected and taking learnings from it, right? So if you've done something wrong in the interview, don't beat yourself up about it by any means, but just remember, okay, I've done that. Next time something like that comes up, I know not to do it like that and I can operate in a different way. That should yield better results. Do you get me? And it goes back to my other point with you realizing that, okay, that was not the right thing for me, but I've learned quite a lot from it 
and now I'm hungrier to go and get the thing that is right for me because I've realized that's not it. I'm one step closer, right? And so, yeah, it is a bit cheesy to some respects, but hey, no one needs to know. I'm just telling you this, I'm, so I'm the only one being cheesy right now, but you can take that and apply it to your mindset and hey, it will do you a lot of good is what I think, okay? So yeah, those are the four approaches to take. Hopefully you use the fourth one. If you want to talk about this more, leave any comments down below what you think about this and I'll make sure to respond. If you like this video guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And that's about it guys, take care.